I really am frustrated with how untidy I am. This is going to be really uncomfortable for me. I don't want to be this person anymore. Today, I decided to embark on a journey of semi-minimalism slash tidiness slash unburdening myself of the idea that I need stuff. At the same time, I want to try and get tidier and I feel like having that as my first objective would help me then become more minimalistic with the things I have, own or want. I'm starting in a really bad place, you guys. I've got to a point where I really am frustrated with how untidy I am. Though I feel like I'm doing my best to keep things tidy and clean, look after the place I, I reside in. It just doesn't last more than a day that the cleanness and tidiness of things. What doesn't help is me having three cats and a dog and there has been quite big. Things just get all over the place and it started to mess with my head a lot. It's really frustrating, distracting and I want to move on from this spot where I'm at with this item and I've been untidy my whole life. It's just, as far as I can remember, my wardrobe was messy, everything was kind of stuck in stuff. Every single drawer of my house was and is full of stuff and like, why don't I just show you this? This is going to be really uncomfortable for me, but I feel like if I push myself to be vulnerable like that in front of the world, maybe it will be helpful to some of you guys, but also I feel like it will give me a really strong push to push through this and get to the point where I'm a little bit tidier. This is where I'm going and I, I do know that it may not be as easy as I might think it will be because I'm 29 years old and I'm really fucking messy. I don't want to be this person anymore. I want to move on from this. So let me show you where I'm at at the moment. This is my office where I do work. My computer and laptop is here. I have a few random items. This is a really messy place with all of this stuff. It just makes a mess. It's difficult to concentrate and it's difficult to work when you have all of this. Stuff. I want all of this gone. But beyond that, have a look at my wardrobe. Oh my god, it's gonna be bad. I literally just stuff things in and it's difficult to find stuff when I need it the most. Like today Day, it took me a good 20 minutes to find a t-shirt to wear and I'm like beyond just looking at it and feeling uncomfortable it's really slowing me down during the day and it's just not making my life any more efficient and I am all about efficiency but this thing just I just can't do it right now it's frustrating and I feel like making this video will help me get past this but let me show you the kitchen the kitchen is where it all started today the, the whole idea of me making a video like that I, I <laughs> okay let me get there first this is my puppy arpin he's sleeping right now because we've had a really long day out but have a look at that so we have all of this items i just bought this guys so don't worry about them being outside but it just messy and it's dirty i say to myself i really need to complete this task first because i have this much time during the day where i have so many tasks so i say to myself i'm just gonna put it here and then when i have extra time i'll clean it up but as it turns out there's never enough time to clean things up and what happens is it just gets progressively messier and messier and messier and oh it's bad i it's it's awful, it's awful. And I just showed a few examples of two rooms, right? But there's so many rooms in the house and every single room is similar. I really don't have time, I, I tell myself, to clean up and tidy every day, but I will be strategizing on the most, on the ways that will work for me to avoid this problem from getting worse. <laughs> I'm giving myself a challenge, a two week challenge to maintain the tidiness of this house, of this whole house and I'm gonna film the progress so that I feel responsible in front of you guys as well to just keep things cool and I'll see how I feel in two weeks time. The first task of the day is to clean up 
the kitchen. It is 11 o'clock right now and I um, really need to have some food but I thought while I'm having food and while I'm watching my favorite video I'm just gonna take my time and enjoy cleaning and today is Saturday at the end of the day. I'm not going to make it a chore, I'm going to try and make it a really pleasant activity. All right, it is 11.28, so it's been 16 minutes. It's been around 16 minutes. So within the 16 minutes, I've cleaned all the stuff. I loaded the dishwasher, loaded the dishwasher afterwards. Today is day two of me clean the house and doing the tidy thing that I started yesterday. So today I'm going to be tackling the living room. As you can see, it is once again all over the place. I did sleep downstairs today because it is 35 degrees in London and it's impossible to sleep upstairs or anywhere else. Like the upper part of the house, it's a no-go zone. It's too hot there. But downstairs, it's okay. Anyway, we have a cat, we have a dog, we have all of the stuff that all of the mess that dog made but also all of the mess that i made in general it's just not too nice all of this stuff like how did that happen like what, what's going on <laughs> you know what i mean so my plan is to make the whole process enjoyable like i did yesterday i basically put on a really awesome video and i was watching the video and i was cleaning and my camera ran out of battery but it did take me 14 minutes roughly to clean out the whole kitchen and make it really nice and tidy and i suspect it's going to take me a similar amount of time to reform this room and make it nice and neat and beautiful so i'm gonna put the video on and i'm gonna grab cracking Okay, it did take me a little bit longer. I think it took me about 30 minutes, but I did accomplish cleaning half of the living room and I'm just so hungry now. I really need to eat something. But check this out. Here is my dog RP. This area that was really dirty before and I have really nice, empty, pleasing to look at so far. All the fur has been gone. All of this has been gone. Half of the living room is nice and tidy and this part is just is just a mess still but i'm gonna get to that after i have some food i don't even know how i got there but it is literally the next day after i've cleaned the freaking kitchen or maybe it's been two days i think it's been two days because yesterday i was cleaning the living room anyway it's been two days since i've clean the kitchen it was spotless almost spotless <sighs> this is going to be cringe well this is how i feel and me showing you guys what's happening is is huge oh okay how did it get here i i just i just it just <sighs> and i had time it was a weekend, I had time to do that and I just didn't, so I can't use the excuse of Oh, I'm a busy woman You know, it's just not gonna work and it's not the truth It's just a lie I'm telling myself and I need to get out of this This is frustrating And now is the time to clean up the kitchen yet again I'm starting to think that this is going to be an everyday thing and to be frank with you it probably should be an everyday thing but at the same time i find it hard to believe that people will spend 30 minutes of their day every day doing the cleaning where i'm going with this whole thing is maintaining the cleanliness by doing all of the room by doing about i don't know five minutes of cleaning as things 
happen. So getting into the habit of doing that as opposed to just letting it all pile up until it looks so messy, it doesn't make any sense for it to be that way and now I'm having to stress over it and segment my time out to clean up everything all over again when it could have been a much easier process altogether. I shouldn't need to be doing that if I was a tidier person, but <laughs> I'm so far from that right now. But hey, well, that's that's the experiment, right? That's, that's what I'm working on. So fingers crossed, by the end of the week, I'll get there. <laughs> Okay, I think it took me about... Actually, it did take me quite a while because I'm watching this video that's 17 minutes long and it is... Okay, it should be half an hour to clean out the top area. Unloaded the dishwasher, load it up again, clean the sink, took out the rubbish, clean the bin, sprayed the countertops, and that's about it. And that's good enough for now. I'm not gonna hover the floor or anything like that because I'm starving and I've been putting off watching skateboarding videos for two days and it's just I can't put that off anymore. I've been waiting for too long to watch those. But have a look. Clean countertops, done dishes, washed kitchen bin thing and we have a piece of gosh what is it you know what this is but it's ready to go when that's dry so i'm gonna leave it here for now my puppy our bin has been waiting patiently for me to be done with work good boy good boy good boy good boy I'm happy to say that I'm making progress with the kitchen. It's the next day and I felt the natural want to just clean out this area here and it's looking really nice and I'm maintaining the peace and tranquility of the kitchen aside from this section here. I've just been to the shop so I put everything here. I couldn't put it directly into the drawer but I didn't and I don't even know why. And then there's some items here and this was over here so I'm still trying to figure out where to place that but so far so good I think right Lynette? she decided to chill in the washing basket however the living room situation uh, I don't know man if you look at the carpets carpets are full of well okay this this is a combination of her uh, arpine eating the stick stuff that gets delivered by post randomly i'm needing to spend another i don't think it will take me long i think it will take me 10 minutes to clean however a proud moment i've cleaned up this section here it's all nice and organized and <sighs> so it's not all bad and i'm halfway through the week Hey there. You caught me shopping, well actually, in the aftermath of the shopping. But what you're going to see in this freaking bag is all of the cleaning materials you may need. Well, whatever it is that I don't currently have. I'm leveling up my game because my in-laws are coming in in one week time and I need to get their house to the state that it used to be before me and the dog and the cats and my boyfriend so let's see what we got here multi-surface polish this is something that is going to protect their super fancy tables and whatever i don't know a nice smelling toilet cleaner two of them i don't know i just want to choose whichever one smells better but a few of these things you will see why i got them oh my god it was it was a mission a few additional cleaners because my spot i've, I've run out of sponges i needed a few sponges a cream safe thing for cleaning the oven area and that whatever all, all of that stuff stuff that's greasy and very tough dirt basically that thing actually two of them are the things that i'm most excited about this is a smartphone for carpets so the carpets are going to smell so good and it just it just changes my whole everything when stuff smells nice and I'm, I'm, I'm a big sucker for a good smell you guys a few containers to contain <laughs> a few of the random bits and pieces that I have and you will see those and you'll be like okay good job you got those because it's a mess the last thing I got is this best thing ever 
promise you. This thing, Dr. Bremen Pet Stain and Order Remover, it's the best smell you can ever get. So you can use it to clean upholstery from the fur if you have animals, but also you can use this to clean the carpets as well. And it's just, there's a sponge in the middle and there's this clean things at the, around. It costs one pound, but it's gold. That's really it. Okay, first thing first, let's see what we're dealing with. Oh man, it's like, it doesn't matter how much I try and clean, it just gets dirty. Always, always. Look at the status of this rug. You should be able to see it, but I'm not sure. There's like dirt, litter particles everywhere from the cats jumping from the thing there. There's litter everywhere, there's dirt here. It gets traced on the rugs and altogether, it's once again a mess. I'm really struggling to keep this place tidy. I think I failed the first week I did it. The first week I tried to clean, keep it clean every day and I probably failed it. But I can't fail this time because my in-laws are coming and it's their house and I absolutely have to be on top of my game. So I'm gonna start with this room here. <sighs> okay, it's one. 30 and i've been cleaning for the last hour and a half two i think it's been one or not but it's been non-stop and i've definitely made a lot of progress things are clean and organized and neat i've hoovered everything i've mopped everything i cleaned the upholstery putting down the washing cleaned out all of the cat dog area and all of that you know things are looking much 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 better and smelling much better for that matter so really happy with the way things are progressing i'm just so hungry right now i i can't i can't do anything i can't do anything anymore i really need to pause i can't overdo it and I really need to do other things. I'm gonna take it slow. <laughs> I'm gonna savor the process and I'm not going to overburden myself by trying to or by attempting to clean the whole damn house in one day. I don't think it's healthy, I don't think it's fun. I'm gonna pause for now. All right, I've eaten some food, I've read a book and I am all ready to tackle the other side of the house. By the way, I finished folding the laundry, but I decided to leave all of that here for the time being and move over to doing the carpets up the stairs and a bit of the bathroom. There's these cupboards that I really am keen cleaning up and just organizing everything there. So the project of the evening is to organize this cupboard here. <laughs> As you can see, there's a ton of stuff and everything's all over the place. I just can't deal with it. I cannot deal with this mess anymore. And all of these drawers that have stuff stuffed in, I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Let's do it. Let's get organizing. Oh, I'm trying to moderate myself, you guys. Don't worry, don't worry. The first step in the process is to unload all of that stuff that you see guys somewhere i don't know where it doesn't matter where so long as it's not there we can call it the great unload Mission accomplished, the great unload happened and everything is now on the floor. Oh, just seeing it all, all of these little pieces, I, I'm like, I don't use 99% of all of that, I'm just not. Sometimes I'm seeing three versions of the same thing and I'm like, why do you have three of them? Did I maybe at some point think that I didn't have one because it was hidden somewhere and I was like, oh, I need that thing because I don't have it apparently. Well, turns out, I had two other versions and I have three of those pink bottles and I'm like the older one I should probably now be throwing it away because it's probably been there for a year or so. You get what I'm saying? It's not a functioning drawer if you don't even know what's inside of it. So now onto the cleaning of it. There's a few items that need cleaning and all that and then once everything's clean I'll organize. The moment of truth. Check this out. Oh, I can breathe looking at this. It is so much better. And honestly, you guys, I was struggling with this one. I didn't know what to put here. Theoretically, you could have all of this cream in like a drawer or something, but then it was empty. There was literally nothing to put. Because I put all the little bits and pieces in those two boxes. Miscellaneous items are contained and everything else 
just makes so much sense now and like the top is clean and whew, I'm just really happy with it I, th I think it's good I think it's good and just like that my first week of trying to keep my house tidy came to an end <sighs> reflecting back on the whole process <laughs> Okay, there's a few things that happened during the week. First, I got extremely tired from just cleaning. The amount of cleaning that was done was exorbitant. I would never want to be in a position to be doing something like that to that extent ever again. Of course, it's not gonna happen, but you know what I mean. Secondly, throughout the week, I've noticed that I was kind of getting frustrated with the way that the house capitalism's tidiness, the level of tidiness and cleanliness. But then I came to realize that the more I focus on keeping things clean and tidy, the more I push myself to maintain the level of cleanliness and tidiness. So although during the first couple of days of the week, I kept clinging on to my older habits of leaving things around, and then the following day, I'll be really frustrated with where things were or the state of the house. Towards the end of the week, I've noticed that I started to be proactive with cleaning. For example, I would clean dishes after every meal. I would fold my clothes after I wore them if I was to wear them the next day. I would clean out cat-related mess, glitter, particles on the floor more often so it doesn't end up being all over the floor, traced around the house, things like that. And I'm hoping to continue doing that in my next week have one week to finalize the cleaning and hopefully by that time I would have potentially created more strategies and methods on keeping things tidy and clean that would help me be a more organized person altogether it's a life skill so I'm glad I'm working on it now